So here we are guys, back in the studio with the Reflex 14 MT. Gotta say guys, this thing surprised the hell out of me. I did not expect this thing to be this much fun. Apologize for the interruption. I filmed this review weeks ago and was ready to go ahead and post up the review a few days back and Armour released this. Yeah, the 118th scale Armour Granite Grom. And that caused me to immediately pause my video. Cause something came to mind to me. Team Associated Reflex 14 MT. Yeah, it says 14, a 14 scale monster truck. It's more like 16 scale. But isn't this the truck you should be looking at to kill those Amazon RCs? Just my thoughts. You're gonna look at the price tag, you're gonna see $220 for this, and you're gonna say, hey, ready, set. That's nowhere near in the same scale pricing as the Armour Granite Grom. And I'm gonna make you think differently because if you plan on keeping the Armour Granite Grom, and I know most of you will not, brushed, great. Excellent truck. And I'm gonna start, I'm gonna say one other piece to this. I already pre-ordered my Armour Granite Grom because I like playing with these miniature trucks during the, the winter months or even just putting around at the baseball fields in a parking lot. I love them. So that's why I ordered one. I'm definitely getting one. I like that truck. But if you plan on taking it brushless, you may wanna give this a look. Why? Once again, $219.99 US, really like $220. But let's put some numbers towards the Arma Granite Grom if you plan on taking it brushless. Now, this is all subjective. Maybe you're able to find the parts cheaper. Maybe you don't put all these parts on them. But if you start to if you start pricing it out, and I'm not gonna put the total, but you guys can total up the numbers, it starts to be a little bit more pricier than just getting a brushless version which this is. Armour Granite Grom, 130 bucks before brushless. That's one. You get, a, you get the Hobby Wing Motor and ESC, I think it's a 16th scale Hobby Wing uh, Motor and ESC, it's 60 bucks. Remember, their receiver and ESC is a two in one. So you gotta buy an ESC and transmitter. Let's say you go with the Dumbo RC one. Adjustable link subjective. This comes, hopefully you guys can see that, comes with adjustable links but it's subjective if you want adjustable links or not. The metal axes and hexes, another one that's subjective. Maybe you want it, maybe you don't want it. Maybe you want to see if it can handle the power first before you buy it. But I believe that set is like 40 bucks, which I think that's a little pricey for that set. But maybe you see if that's not really needed. There's an aluminum center drive shaft. I think the first one is, is like a, is a, is a steel center drive shaft, uh, but they sell an aluminum center drive shaft. Maybe you think that you, keep, you don't need that either. There's upgraded shocks. You probably can get away with that one. Keep in mind, when you go brushless, I haven't seen the Grom in person, but the way the wording and everything is phrased on the website lets me to believe, and especially looking at the, the Gorgon, there's no foams in those tires. So you're gonna wanna upgrade those tires and, tires and wheels. Maybe you get out on the cheap, or as I said, I like these tires and wheels. These are 40 bucks. And then lastly, the one thing you're gonna wanna buy if you plan on going brushless, the front and rear diffs on the Grom do not have oil in them. You're going to want to upgrade that. I believe that's 40 bucks for the front and rear diffs on the Grom. That you're gonna to wanna to buy. Now, take the totals that I said, just the ones I said, not the ones that I didn't mention because all the other stuff is subjective and add that up. This comes in a little bit less. Now I'm not telling you what to do with your money, but I'm telling you, shop around. You may find other options. 
This is a company that supplies their parts, has readily available. It's a platform that's been around for a while. You may want to look at this too. I didn't want to interrupt this video too long, but I wanted to let you guys know that there are options out there uh, before we start throwing our money into certain things. At this time, we're going to go back to the original video. I enjoy the Reflex 14B a lot, truly do. But this is a whole nother animal, guys. Now, I will say I'm not happy about the price point for it. I think for a lot of RCs of this size, and this is coming more closer to a 1 16th scale than it is a 1 14th scale. And I showed that to you on the video. It is pricey at that point, but for what they pack in this RC, it's a lot. You gotta remember that this has a third differential on this. There is a center differential on this RC. These tires, they're not, you know, just regular rubber on wheel tires. There is some foam in these tires. You know, there's a lot of adjustability in this RC. There is some argument for the price to be a little bit higher than your typical Amazon flavored RCs, but maybe this is a little higher than what it needs to be. Getting price point out of it, this thing is a blast to drive, guys. 2S power, more than enough. The controller, tried and true, you all know this controller if you've ever owned a team associated RC before. There is, it has all the trims you're looking for, it has steering, Trim, throttle trim, steering dual rate, throttle dual rate, reverse switches for the steering and throttle. It's a two-channel controller with the steering and the throttle here. I've spoke about this when I, you know, did the unboxing part of the video. Four double A's. Uh, it's the only part that I don't like about it, you know, especially for an RC of this caliber. You can do you can do with a smaller controller for an RC this size. Wheelie bar handles does well. You won't need it though, unless you do some modifications like up the pinion on this, you won't need the wheelie bar. The other piece of this, I guess for me and my landings, you'll see it's not so free spinning anymore. You won't even need this. This thing didn't go on a wheelie. It held like a race car. That's what, how it drove. It drove like a little race car. You're seeing the dampening on this. It's still very good. The Drive shafts on this held up, no issues, still free spinning. I did have two things on this RC that I am concerned about. One I'm concerned about, the other one I really don't even care. Headlights, if you guys saw that on the video, the headlights kept popping out. This is a simple fix. Shugu, Shugu's your friend. Put some sh a dab of Shugu on the back of these two LEDs and I think you'll be fine. This shouldn't really pop out again after that. That was one thing that I noticed that was happening quite a bit is that the LEDs were popping out one side to the other. It doesn't matter. The shell itself held up. No issues. Looks really good as if it was brand new minus the dust. There's no rubbing marks to show me that it's taking a little bit abuse in certain areas and, and less in others. Did very well, guys. Other than the dirt on here, this did extremely well. The other thing I got to mention, guys, is that these body pins are downright horrible and then why they're horrible they're so small guys team associated if you're watching this video give us slightly larger body pins or if you're going to give us these give us a pull tab to pull them they are a fight to get on and off and if you drive the rc in dirt it is really impossible to get these on and off and not have them fly across wherever you are and lose them I would really appreciate it if Team Associated would either put some pull tabs on these or at least make them a little bit larger so they're able, able to come on and off easier for us. The RC, ESC, motor, perfect. Love them, a lot of power. Turning, really good. This, this servo is fairly quick. It's the same servo that I have in the 14B. And the 14B, I like the servo in that as well. So I don't have an issue with the servo. This is kind of the size of the 2S battery packs that I put in my RCs at this size. No issues in it fitting, no issues in it connecting up, no problems whatsoever. It stayed in its place. Yeah, this, this thing's a, a monster, guys. The other issue that I had was there's a clicking. After 
the first couple of uh, pulls on the trigger, there's a clicking in the transmission. Uh, I'm gonna have to take the screws apart, see what's all going on. I like to clean up my RCs before I do that kind of work, but I'll report back at a later date as to you know what the problem was and what the fix is afterwards. I kept on running it. I figured I'll address the issue at a, at a later date. I didn't notice any loss in performance with the clicking. It didn't just stop running or anything like that. So no issues to report on it shortening my run. Positive chassis, you guys can see held up well. Skids in the front, rear, holds up well. Suspension held up excellent. Nothing broken on it whatsoever. I like this. I really like the 14 MT. This thing was a little Tasmanian devil and it was hitting the jumps perfectly. I don't think I've seen an RC this size, at least for me, able to fly like that. This thing loves to jump. And if I hit the jump just right, I'm pretty sure I would have been able to pull off a backflip on this with ease. I don't think this thing has any trouble doing backflips with the power that it has putting down to it. The other beauty of this truck, it has the backing of Team Associated behind it. And that's not to say anything about the other RCs that are out there, but this one you have the backing of Team Associated the parts are there, it's readily available. It shares a lot of its parts with the 14B and the 14T. So you, you have that there for, going for you as well. It's a great little truck. Yes, it's a little pricey, but I think this little, this little monster truck is a excellent little find out there, guys. It's worth checking out. If you're just looking for a damn good truck, this is it, this is it. That third differential makes it handle well. The tires, these are probably some of the best, you know, mini RC tires that I've seen out on the market before. I may try it on other RCs of its size because these were hooking up very well in a surface that has zero traction. When I say that baseball field has zero traction, a lot of guys have asked me, hey, is, is it the RC? Is it the tires for other RC videos I've done? It's not the RC, it's not the tires, it's not my driving. That is an extremely loose surface and when it hasn't rained, it's like you're driving on ice. It's, you have to rear steer to really get good control on it and even then, it takes a lot to really control the RC and line them up onto the ramps. But this was a beast. This, I mean, I was able to rear steer on this probably the best out of all the RCs I've driven over there that's this size. And that's because too, as I said, it has a center diff that's tunable. And the way that it comes out from Team Associated, I think it's tuned pretty well. That speaks a lot because a lot of these RCs that you're gonna find in this size, they are direct drive, which means they don't have a slipper clutch. They don't have a third differential. It's just a spur with a pinion onto it and it's just direct power without any, you know, really reasonable form of control to the RC. If you're not too skittish on the price of this RC, go ahead and pick it up. But we're gonna leave it here. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Check us out on Instagram for the latest post of the channel. This is Ready Set RC, signing out. Thanks again, guys.